She was using it on the coffee table in the living room, and I decided I needed to make her some kind of a desk or table that she could use. And uh, so I looked at online at several different sewing machine cabinets, and there are several on there, lots and lots of them. And from that, I I gleaned off a piece of this one, a piece of that one, and it came up with what I wanted to make and something I thought that she would use. And she's not a seamstress. Uh, she just does this as a hobby. So the, the cabinet I had to make, I wanted to make it some a piece of furniture uh, when, and at the same time something she could use and move around the house wherever she wanted to use it. But when not in use, she could put a, a plant or a doily on there or something and it becomes, like I said, a piece of furniture. So after perusing the, the, the internet, I, you know, like I said, I came up with several ideas and and I came up with this as a, the end product. Okay. The cabinet opens from the center here, right hand side, swings all the way out. I attach the drawers to the doors to allow her knee space and leg space to work underneath. And as I was building it, I built the carcass for this cabinet and was beginning to build that one when I realized that if I build them both the same size, they're not going to be able to close because they would strike about here, being both the same size. So if I made it so this side closes and this side fits inside of it. And uh, as I said, the, the small band hinges I used on it, uh, they, don't, they, take the, they don't take all the weight because I have a wheel under this end of each of the cabinet portions that it rolls on it and it takes the weight away from the whole thing. And uh, the top of it is 14 inches wide, and I decided to make a double top and hinge the top of it. And because the top of this one is 30 inches high, the side cabinets are, are about an inch lower. I added a peg on each corner here so that when I lay it out, it meets the cabinets and becomes level. So it gives her a 28 by 48 inch space to work. And these sewing machine cabinets hinges I uh, put in. I started to chisel them in. I used scrap wood, tried to chisel them. That didn't work very well. I tried to use my, my Dremel tool and that didn't work either. So finally I just went back to my router and I made a template and just drew it out each of the, the spots for the hinges and then hand cut them with the, the router using one blade for the outside the actual shape of the hinge and the depth and a second blade for the hinge portion in the middle which is deeper and I put four monitors so it stays nice and level and then I added these bumpers back here so that when it's the cabinet is closed up the top is closed up it uh, doesn't have wood on wood contact with the two varnish surfaces and like I said, it's got wheels so it can roll any place that she wants to use it. And her sewing machine is kept down here in the storage. And she picks it up, puts it up on top to use it. And in closing the thing up, she puts her sewing machine away first, of course. And just folds this side up, closes the left hand side due to the two, two different sizes, goes to the right hand side, and just done. And then she put a door in there, a plant on top, something on it, and it becomes that piece of furniture we initially wanted. How's that? <laughs> 